Ray. Hi, Silver Surfer. Welcome. So this is, um, hey, Sherry, you're awake. Hi, Joel. So early scope for me as I'm traveling at 2.30. I usually scope at 2.30 every day, but this is an early one, isn't it lovely for me? So my name is Indra, silent-moon.co.uk is me and I work with the nature kingdom and the light of the moon. Quite tired today, early scoping. <laughs> so I thought at least I'll get one in. So I'm catching probably those of you that are off to bed or those of you that, that can't sleep and Vanessa in a shop in Peach. Hi, I'm just saying that I'm scoping early today as I'm traveling home. So I thought rather than try to get a scope on the train, we'll do it before I leave. <laughs> so how's everybody this morning? You're off to work. Yeah, I've, I've, I've kicked in just before nine o'clock, so everybody's probably rushing off to work. All right, a storm here in, oh, Arkansas. Oh, right, okay. Oh, right, oh, sorry, it's uh, Sherry replying. I was thinking, oh, you've gone a, gone a long way away. What time is it here? It's almost nine o'clock in the UK, so I'm early, early. I usually scope UK time at 2.30, so check me out, and um, if I resonate with you, please do share. And um, I'm going to have Joel joining me very soon because, as you can see in the title, um, I just want to uh, say something to you all about your own inner light. Um, so this is the lovely rose I wanted to share with you. Purity of the rose. We love two fifty. Sherry, go to sleep. <laughs> I am so so grateful that you're here with me because. Uh, you know, now when you scope at a normal time, at a usual time, like 2.30 every day, you're sort of connecting with the same people. It's 2.50 here too. Well, I am so grateful. V Tell me your name. Is it Vic Victor? Victor, it's what, nice to see you because I'm connecting with people who are new to me. So it's really lovely. Welcome. It's really nice to see you. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. So the rose of purity. I work and create with flower essences. So um, I'm big on my flowers. So you can check me out at silent-moon.co.uk. You're in West Texas. Oh, I'd love to visit Texas. That's me there. Hello, Inga. Welcome. Nice to see you. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. And you, Silver Surfer. I've seen you before, though, my love. I'm sure I've, I, your, your handle is very familiar to me anyway. <laughs> So, as you can, thanks for sharing everybody. Please do share it because I just want to get this message across to everybody about being your own guru. And I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn the camera around now you've seen the beautiful rose. But I'm going to have to try and find somewhere to sit because the dew is still wonderfully on the grass. So, um, I'm going to somewhere. Maybe on the grass, eh? <laughs> get my backside wet. Might have to crouch down by this lovely Acer. It's gorgeous, gorgeous Acer. It's yummy, yummy, yummy. So, I'll crouch for a little bit. So welcome. So if you don't know me, my name is Indra, silent-moon.co.uk is me. Haven't been sleeping. Nice to wake up to. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. Um, thank you for sharing. So the reason I wanted to speak about Inner Guru today is, as a lot of you know already, if you don't know me, um, I'm a, I'm, I am a yoga therapist and I work a lot with addiction. Hi, Steph. Um, and I'm not going to give any names, but yesterday um, I, I, was, I was watching a guru very briefly on Facebook um, and it's actually somebody that I used to follow um, and I used to visit regularly and my heart sank when I saw him in a space of, of real priority over everybody else I love you baby okay I love you too so I was stand he was, he was there and he was he was he was pulling people onto the stage and pointing and bringing them on with very little words and my heart really sank and I said to Joel I just said wow I said I, I really I really, it really makes my heart really sad when I see these people coming into this space of superiority over everybody else. Um, not my bag at all. So the big thing that I wanted to say to you was be your own light, be your own inner guru. Because guru, the word guru means from darkness to light. And we all go through our shadow. Wow, obsessive compulsive talker. Well, I, I missed that one. Oh yes, they and they make you feel you have to worship them. Absolutely, yes they do. And just a little bit about sort of my story and what I what I've kind of done in the past. I've, I've followed. I've gone gone around following people, thinking that um, other people could show me something. That by by getting a guru, they could really, you know, put me in a place of 
of knowing who I was when really all I had to do was step out in nature, work with the nature kingdom and connect with my own inner light and who I really was, was just inside my heart anyway. I didn't need somebody to tell me what it was that I needed to do to make my life feel better. So I really wanted to get that message across to you today that all of you, every single one of you, all of us are just the same. Your guru is in here. He's not on a stage, she's not on a stage. It's in here. I love you too. <laughs> right in your heart. It's a simple message, Brittany. It really is. And I, it's just, it's, it's really simple. I wanted to share that with you today because for me, why are we not, if you want to follow somebody, that's great. But this whole devotional thing and this whole kissing their feet, kissing their ass or whatever they do, please, <laughs> please kiss your own ass. Light your own light and just love yourself and who you really are and stop praising other people. If people help you, love them from an equal place and really love what's in here because I suffered, I, um, a lot of you uh, can kiss you babe. Okay, God, God is totally not like that. God is totally not like that. Absolutely. From a, we've, we've just, we're, you know, God is in us. God is in us. And we all have our views and it's all lovely to have our views and everything. But just remember inside your heart, there is a huge light and you need to shine that. And once you shine that, then everybody else, will, you know, only, once you start loving yourself equally to everybody else and vice versa, everything becomes balanced and harmonized anyway. So I, I spent a lot of time a lot of time sitting on the floor looking at gurus because I because I teach yoga and from this uh, space of sort of going through your yoga teacher training there's part of that where you really do have to get into that devotional space of loving your teacher and 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 we, it can go too far sometimes it can, if, you, if you don't sort of step back with a little bit of um, detachment and go okay I can see this and what's happening but you know I'm feeling this way I just want to do my teacher training and then go off and do my own thing and teach in the way that I want to teach so Joel I think he's always Joel's always got a lovely message I want to share a lovely man with you <laughs> he scopes at two o'clock every single day and he's got a lovely message about this too so here he is morning <laughs> saying good morning and he just said something really lovely to me inside can you remember what it was no it's like an interview this <laughs> well, give me give me a rough idea we were we were you said about you said we were talking about the light within and you were saying and i said please feel free to give your message to everybody because it, it was really lovely what you said to me in there can't you remember no <laughs> well there you go there you go i can That's i can it. i can get a sense of it though it's, give your it, give your view on what you think about the, the okay well about guru. about the whole guru thing i i think that there's the, the problem is is that the the story that uh, that is there from these people is that uh, you are like me find the god within That's it. and um but then in the physical way it's set up with kind of all of the robes and the and the pedestals and then people coming and kneeling at their feet uh, their story is, oh, well, you're not kneeling to me, you're kneeling to the guru within. But there's the, the way that we communicate is mostly in, in the physical. It's like most of our communication, what matters to us is physical. So the physical message that's being sent to them is that the, you are beneath some other person. And so my my view is that, and I used to do satsang a lot, and it was always, I never did the the robes and the, and the I'm above you stuff. It was always making the real point that, you know, it is within you, and I'm not going to, embody something different than the message Welcome, and Candy. that's what we really saw was that this so the what's being embodied is counter to the, the the message they say they're saying which is that you know go within go within you so I think there's there's a purpose to um, to sharing um, deep spiritual inquiry there's a purpose to in a way the physicalization of of, of the guru but there needs to be Absolutely. great care, and mostly it's not. It's not so much about bashing them because they're just doing what they do. They do, can't they? Yeah. <laughs> that's another one. That's What's a brilliant. That one? They take your money. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's so well, true. Well, I'm not. That's I'm so actually true. anti because I think I think there's a there's a lot of um, bad PR around making money if you're spiritual or in personal growth, and I actually believe that it's really okay for people to make. Good, a very good living. I don't think she meant it like if, that. Though. No, but but that's it's just an important point, I think, because 
um, because they have to eat too. <laughs> yeah, no, and the, 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 she meant it well. like that. She, she, I think uh, the message that I got from her was the fact that, it, you know, it, it becomes kind of a money-making business. Um, and I know with, with certain people that I've followed in the past, it, it, it becomes a business that by people sort of praising you and looking up at you, it, it becomes this egotistical Thing. And although it's it, it's put out there as light, and this person is shining their light, and and all that, it it, it becomes very false. Um, so. I don't think there's true authenticity in it. And a, a lot of you that follow me, um, and I'm very grateful that you, you've been on, you, you are on here, because I didn't think, because I scope at 2.30 every day UK time, I thought that there wouldn't be so many people who follow me. But thank you for being here. That you know that my big deal is authenticity, and you have to come from a place of, 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 of truth, of who you really are. And, and I think by stepping out there and being that truth, which is, what both of us are like, you know, we're just we're just raw scopers. <laughs> we we do it as it is. We say it as it is. Well, part the, part of the problem with the gurus is it becomes sort of um, an identity that gets taken on. So there yeah. are, then they become the rules about what you're supposed to do if you are being in that guru satsang position. So then that's when all that's <laughs> that when all of the you know the robes and the writing letters. But that is such such an identification, which again is counter to. Um, you know, counter to the very teaching itself. There are a few teachers who just just stand up and are themselves. That's what I hope that I did when I was giving satsang a lot. Is is just I wasn't. I was just me, regardless. However, I just want to say to you, you did. Um, you did once say to me that um, you you started to get people. You know, that were oh, really good, yeah. sort of. You know, back again to kissing your ass. You know, kissing your feet, all that stuff. And how does how does somebody really deal with that on this uh, on this earth plane? Do, their ego has got to grow, right? Their ego has got to get bigger unless they're really connected to to themselves. So to it's my exper my experience of that was. So this is what I was telling telling Indra was that. What I discovered doing a lot of satsang is that there were people who were naturally devotional. So in the in where they were at, they were devotional. And I used to do everything I could to try and sort of um, sort of disavow them of that, really. But what what I discovered, or what in a way I was told, if you like, from inside me, is that there's two things. Firstly, really watch out for the seductiveness of of falling into nice their word. devotional yeah. of their devotional projection. But secondly, there is a place where if I'm sat in that position, my inner question is, is it kind, is it useful, what's the kindest thing, how can I serve? And there are times when someone is just not in a position to be able to step out of that devotional space. So then all I can do is, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do, look within, no, what do I do, what do I do? And then sometimes there's a position where you can just say, well, this is my best advice. And that can look like, you know, you're then saying, well, I know better than you. But it's really, well, given that you're not open to looking to yourself right now, I'm just going to give you my best wisdom and advice in the mm. moment. Um, and I like and, what Jilly said about um, just there. coming, you know, ego is fine as long as it comes from a soul space. And I really do agree with that. And also, Steph, you know, about... Um, uh, about yes it's okay to to look up to your teacher but as place of of non-attachment and that's really important because as you know you you do yoga with me uh steph and i always teach non-attachment you know that's big thing for me and it's hard for all of us but it's it's something that is really good to get used to is that i can i can be in this space in the now as a lot of you know also eckhart is one of my big loves so i i like to to try my best to sort of be in the present moment which isn't always easy but i really do think thanks for the hearts by the way <laughs> thank um, you for the hearts but i just think i thank you everybody for your you know if you want to say some more that's on the subject it'd be really interesting to see what my you take have to on say. the ego yeah go on it's well, we might as well this is a this is a kind of a, a big topic for me and and one of what i teach is non-personal awareness and in the non-personal perspective enlightenment and the ego are equal so what I see again in all of these satsangs is is ego bashing, which is in a way trying to force one polarity in the wholeness of life. So it's like get rid of the ego, get rid of the ego. But the truth is you can't exist in a physical form unless there's some ego there. It takes it takes the sort of the illusion of separateness in order to exist. So the idea that you can eradicate your ego is just bollocks basically. And also, it puts you at war with an aspect of yourself which is just part of existence. So from my perspective, it's not about 
killing or eradicating the ego. It's about shifting your relationship with it and coming into balance and becoming available to all the aspects of self. So it's whether it's your pure being, whether it's your soul aspect, or whether it's your ego aspect. I call it personality. I prefer that word. But um, mm. but I'm really I'm really very very keen to sort of say let's stop trying to friggin' kill the ego because it just sets up more resistance, more pain, yeah. and is an egoic idea in the first place. Sure that they put themselves higher than us and think that um, I don't know if wrong's the word yeah. stuff. Um, I, I see what you're saying, but um, I you know I don't know from my from my view of of of, of, of sort of going around the world trying to find myself in the past and and, and 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 searching and that you know being for many many years of just looking and looking and somebody like I said earlier somebody's there to save me um, when really my view is that you know saving yourself is is, is, is in here you know if, if I, I say a lot that you know I traveled the world and I looked and looked and looked but I, I find myself when I got home that was where you know because that's I was I was there already and as again, a lot of you know, my guru is nature, because nature has the ability to destroy us at any single time. You know, it really can. It can just like turn up the heat and we're dead. <laughs> you know, and um, so, so, so my big, and not that I'm saying to you, you have to go out and, and, and adore nature and worship nature, but that that is my view, and that is what I do, and that's what resonates with me. Everyone you go, go there, you, um, everywhere you go there, you you are. Oh yes, I look for everyone to save me when when you can only save yourself. Yeah, absolutely. So so it's really um, it's what what the point of this whole message was to really get to to a place where it resonates with you and as long as you stand in your truth and as oh, long as fuck off. <laughs> feel free to tell them to fuck off um as long no, as you stand in your truth and stand in your authenticity and stand in that place of um you know it takes time and i, I always talk about it about peeling of the onion i love my onion <laughs> you love your own onion. and it's, it's it's an analogy which is very easy to follow uh, you know you can see an onion and it has many 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 different layers and like we're you know our true core is in the center of that onion but we have all this shit we have all this conditioning we have everything that's just covering us and we just need to peel those layers one at a time until we get to the center of who we are and we're always going to have to deal with stuff that's why we're here you know we, we, we're here for that reason just to 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 feel this earthly plane to be on this earthly plane there's nothing wrong with that you know it's 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 wonderful but what i the big message was just to really feel who you are and step into your own light and once you start doing that everything just resonates and becomes balanced and harmonized and it can sound a little bit of a cliche but I've been there and I've done it and I guess that's why I created Silent Moon it was to 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 meet people who who resonated with me not to sort of I, I don't hate that word tribe but to really connect with people who are just in that space of of of, of openness of wholeness and 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 here especially on Periscope but it, it's happened and hey, it's, it's wonderful is Max on here yeah, yeah. Max. we just talked about, you, we talked about you it was last night actually was it last night yeah, yeah we were talking about you saying where is where Max, is Max? And how are you, darling? I hope you're well. And I said to Jane earlier, it's not easy to remove all... I, I missed what you said, my love. I want to see that again. Could you could you put it back up? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So Mike's there, I love. I missed there's you. A, there's an interesting distinction because, in a sense, you know, we come on and, and we're talking about um, the, the perils of misinterpreting gurus, okay. if you like. And the message being just just to come inside but when you come inside and sort of work with yourself it doesn't mean you don't do those external things it doesn't mean you don't go and uh, spend time in nature or even go to the satsangs or whatever it's just about you come from a basis of of sort of solid grounding in yourself absolutely first. max i would love i would love i mean you've seen the title and, and max lives in india so you know that's i would really love your view if you've got a few moments to type my love is to really just say from from the eastern side which is is kind of the side that i kind of know it from too but from the eastern side you know how do you feel about you know devoting yourself to a guru and, and how does it feel for you and what's your view on it and um, if you can give a few words that would be really good because you've come in from India and obviously when we think of guru we think of India you know it's just a natural thing we think of the east and um, most people here are, are, are probably from the west I'm not quite sure but um, we're at a diff different time zone today because I'm scoping early because I'm traveling so it'd be really interesting to hear if you've got a few moments um, 
Land of Gurus, yes. And how do you feel about Land of Gurus? Is it just, it, do you agree with just stepping into your own space and finding your own light? Or is it really important to you that you find a devotional person that you can devote yourself to and that you follow? And I have my hour Early morning, so, um, silent, contemplating, meditating. Beautiful. Yeah, lovely. That's that's wonderful. I love that. I love it. We talked about that yesterday and how I have that space as well. In the morning, I don't like to be interrupted. I really like to have my yoga and my my space of stillness. To each its own. To each its own. That's and that's great. True. And great view. And that was a, a wonderful. It's balanced like it's view. Been, yeah. It, really balanced some, view. some people it really resonates with, so good, yeah. good for them. And that's, I'm not saying don't do it, but I'm just saying, you know, stay in your own light and stay. And if you are connecting to a guru, remember not to, to uh, lose yourself, lose your true nature, because it's very, very easy just to fall into such deep devotion that we just we 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 kind of become that person in a way you know we we honor them so much and i've seen it so many times so don't forget who you are do you want to say anything before well we just go? just um i can't remember who it was but someone said that it's important to have a human mirror so there is a yeah. phrase that i love about gurus they say keep your guru two mountains and three valleys away Nice. And the reason they say that is because, you know, the, the truth is that the guru is an idea. It's not the, the truth of it. And the, the purpose of that idea of the guru as a person is, is that it's aspirational in terms of your spiritual path. But, the, but to take it as real is where the confusion comes. So the idea is if you get too close to a guru, you'll realize that it's bullshit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. they're a human too with all the human stuff. So... Um, Maybe just to abuse that, one. that one. Yeah, it's with moderation. We, we're, but but we're all of each other's mirror anyway. So it's like we, you know, we're mirroring each other. We're all learning off each other. So we, whoever you meet, you know, you, we 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 have yeah, lessons. Max. To be who you are and let life be your guru. What a lovely thing to lovely. say. So I'd love Perfect. to end on that, yeah. actually. Thank Perfect. you, Max. So I've scoped early today because I'm traveling at 2.30. But if I resonated with you, then do follow me at um, this handle. <laughs> and at 2 o'clock every day is our lovely Joel. Um, do you want to put your... Oh, yeah. He's going to put his uh, title up there so you can follow him. Woo! So... I'll be back at 2.30 tomorrow, normal time, once I'm back up north in the UK. Thank you all for joining me early. We all have life to live and learn from. And if there was nothing to learn, we would not be here. Absolutely, Vanessa. Back to bed. Go to bed. Enjoy. I feel so happy when I see you two together. Oh, thank Aww. you. Many people say that. We're happy when we're together. <laughs> we're always very we happy together. Fun. We have a lovely time. Really great messages, guys. Well, thank you. And I'm really, I really appreciate Did you share your... Did you read it? Please can't. do it. Um, we support each other because because we we sort of really do. Um, we met we met on Periscope. We and, dig um, each other. We, we think dig we're each awesome. other. <laughs> and um, and we and, and it's such a lovely way to connect. And it, it's um, yeah, it's just it's wonderful. You help us all. Yes, we do. I know we do, but you help us too because if uh, we wouldn't be here if you weren't feeding back. So remember, there's the mirror. So thanks everybody for joining earlier than usual, but it was lovely to have this kind of deep discussion yeah. and hear your points of view. Thank you, my darling. And that's me, silent-moon.co.uk. Oh, Go check me out and follow me and join my uh, newsletter. And I'm on Silent Moon Imaginarium, Imaginarium at Instagram and <coughs> Facebook. <laughs> Choking. <laughs> Too much coffee. All right, lovely. <laughs> Off now to enjoy my day. Love you loads. Bye. Bye.